Okay, guys, let's grab some dumbbells for the next bunch of exercises. Now, the other thing I want you guys to do is grab yourselves either a flat bench or a multi-fold mat um, to create some elevation for these exercises. Working some push-ups for this exercise and we're getting some assistance from the bench just to create a little bit of elevation and this will make the push-up fairly easy. Just make sure you're cautious enough not to tip the bench over. Your turn to try this one. Using the tip of the bench for some triceps dips for this exercise. Now you can see I'm doing it with straight legs so that I can't cheat. And you've just got to make sure that your butt stays really close to your hand. We don't want to cause any excess pressure in the rotator cuffs. Your turn to try this one. donkey kick from a three points position for this one. So very important, you're pushing up with your heel and you're finishing in what looks almost like a knee strike. The mistake most people make with this one is they start to kick back rather than kicking up. So make sure you're watching out for that one. Your turn. <laughs> This exercise is a chest press that starts from a neutral hand position with your elbows tucked in and on the way up it rotates into what looks like a regular chest press. Now make sure your back is pinned right up against the bench when you do this and it's a vertical push up. Your turn to try it.
considered shoulder press for this exercise, but this is a little bit different. So you can see that it starts with a neutral hand position with your elbows tucked in. And as you lift, it rotates and looks more like a traditional shoulder press for this one. Make sure your spine remains nice and neutral. Keep your chest proud and protect your back through this exercise. Your turn. For this exercise, we're combining close grip presses and chest flies. So we're going to start off hitting a close grip press, making sure those elbows are tucked in and pushing straight up. And then we're going to keep the arms soft straight when we go into the chest fly. Nice moderate pace movement for both exercises and they just flow from one to the other. Your turn to have a go.
single arm row, nicely supported by the bench for this one. So very important, just release the dumbbell until your arm's nice and straight. And then when you pull it up, you want to pull towards your rib cage with your elbows tucked in. Keep your wrists nice and straight and keep your spine neutral as well. Both sides, your turn. over from a supine position for this one so you can see I've got an eyelet grip going as far as holding the dumbbells concerned and then I'm keeping my arms relatively soft straight to really emphasize on the triceps now if you bend your arms a little bit more it's going to give you more emphasis on your chest so there is a variation your turn to try it
working a single arm chest press for this exercise. So we're going to start off working those presses on one side, holding a single dumbbell. And then midway through, we're going to switch over and do the other side as well. Make sure your lower back is pinned against the floor and you've got a nice vertical push as far as your pressing is concerned. Your turn to try it. to anterior rotation on this seated shoulder press for this exercise. So as the shoulder press comes down, we go into that neutral position and then it's a thrust straight up with a rotating hand as you get to the top of it. Let's work one side, keeping a nice neutral spine and then we're going to switch it up and do the other arm as well. Your turn to try it.
standing horizontal press for this exercise. So we're going to start off using the one dumbbell, making sure your elbows are tucked in nicely. And we're going to bring the dumbbell all the way to our chest. Make sure your elbows are by your rib cage, And then we're going to press horizontally. And we're going to press straight out until you've got straight arms. Good amount of anterior shoulders in, in this particular exercise. And then as you're pushing out, you really have to use your core to maintain your position. Try and keep your knees slightly bent to protect your back and stay nice and vertical throughout this exercise. Your turn to try it. working some donkey kicks for this one. Now, I'm not using any dumbbells. However, I am using my forearms and placing my weight on the bench for the extra support. Now, I really just want to focus on those hamstrings and glutes. And you want to make sure that you maintain the same bent angle in your knees. So we don't want to release that. You want to make sure you keep it the whole time. Um, then you change legs and hit the other side as well. Your turn. Okay, I'm going to use the tip of the bench for some dumbbell hips thrusters for this one. So we're going to place the dumbbell on your hip. We're going to start right at the bottom, so with your butt almost touching the floor. And then we're going to lift into what looks like a glutes bridge using the bench for that additional range. Push all the way up and then release again. Your turn.
dumbbells are a squat for this exercise. So I'm starting with my feet parallel at shoulder width, and you can see that I'm holding the dumbbell in that zerker hold the same way as you would if it was a barbell. I'm going to drop down and make sure my elbows get to my quadricep, and then I'm going to lift straight back up. Make sure you sustain a neutral spine and controlled movement. Your turn to try this one. Starting with a nice wide base and parallel feet, we're going to go into some side squats for this exercise. So you can see I'm actually resting the dumbbell on my hip and it's pushing towards the side where I've got the dumbbell. So that's basically the only knee that's bending throughout this exercise. Once we finish with one side, we're going to just switch it up, put the dumbbell on your other hip and hit the other side as well. Your turn to try it.
abduction of the legs using the dumbbell for some extra weight for this one. So you can see I'm keeping my knee nice and straight and my foot's horizontal. So this is really important. If your toes are starting to point up, then your hip's not in the right place and you need to make an adjustment there. Um, we'll do this on both sides. So try one side and then turn around and hit the other side as well. Plyometric squats with dumbbells for this exercise. So you can see that I'm keeping my feet parallel, getting into a nice deep squat, and then when I'm jumping, I'm not landing flat back on my feet. I'm actually keeping that downward momentum going so that I'm not absorbing the pressure on my knees at all this way. All the way down into a deep squat, keeping that spine nice and neutral, and then working your way back up straight into the jump. Nice difficult one for you guys. Let's try it.
we're dropping down into an isometric low lunge for this one. And you can see that I've got the front hand grip as far as the dumbbells are concerned. Just got to make sure that I'm keeping a nice upright upper body and a nice lengthy lunge for this one. So you can see that uh, my front leg has a vertical shin bone and just making sure that my knee is just about an inch off the ground. What I'm then going to do is swap it over and hit the other side as well. Let's get you to try this one for yourself. Weighted side bend from a side plank position for this exercise. So you can see I've got my top foot in front of my bottom foot, which I like to use for stability. But if you wanted to do a straight stack with your legs, that's okay as well. Just very important to try and maintain a straight line from your ankle all the way to your shoulder. And we're just dropping down into that side bend, getting your hip to the ground or close to the ground and then lifting back up into that side plank. We're going to do both sides. Your turn to try it.
dumbbells, abs, tuck. Now, you could do this with or without the dumbbell. So if you've got the core strength to do it with the dumbbell, then do that. Otherwise, you can always lose the dumbbell and just do it manually. You can see I'm holding the seat for support and then just pulling those knees all the way to my chest and then releasing until I've got nice straight legs. Your turn to try this one. Working a variation of a Russian twist for this one. So you can see we're doing it with our feet up. So there's no support there. Your core is a little bit more active. And we're going to try to keep our weight on the butt cheeks rather than the tailbone. And it's just a matter of twisting from side to side for this one. Let's get you guys to have a go.
Romanian deadlifts for this one, guys. So making sure your feet are parallel and at shoulder width, and your knees are right over the, the top of it, so it's nicely supported. Um, you're holding the dumbbells up like it's a barbell, and we're dropping straight down with this one. You want to push back with your bum to make sure your spine's remaining nice and tight and in a neutral position. Your turn to try this one. Working some good mornings and adding some shrugs to this. Um, so all we're doing is we're keeping the legs nice and stiff, back's neutral, shoulders are back, and as you lift up, we're going to add the shrug into the technique. Let's get you guys to try this one.
well done for getting through your workout today guys let's take a moment to stretch and cool our body back down now comment and let us know what you thought of today's workout and remember to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest workouts